Hello and welcome to this guide to the Carnival Glory. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more travel videos. So the Carnival Glory is a Conquest class cruise ship which entered into service in 2003. It was refurbished in 2012 and received additional renovations in 2017. Carnival Glory has room for 2,980 passengers. Carnival likes to put their emphasis on fun and there's evidence of that everywhere. There's nothing particularly luxurious about this ship compared to MSC for example, but it is incredibly fun. We were among a very small number of Europeans on board our sailing and although there was a few minor cultural differences, there was nothing that made us feel out of place. It was mostly guests from the southern United States and we found them really laid back and good fun to be around. So there's 13 decks on the Carnival Glory in total. The cabins can be found on decks 1, 2, 6, 7 and 8 with some at the forward of 9, 10 and 11. The Colours Lobby is on deck 3 and here you'll find guest services and the shore excursions desk. It's the bottom of the atrium where the Old Glory glass elevators can be found. There's a bar here too and some of the entertainment happens here with the elevators as the backdrop. So there's a number of different dining options on the Carnival Glory. The main sit-down restaurants are the Golden Restaurant, located on decks 3 and 4, and the Platinum Restaurant, also located on decks 3 and 4. Evening menus at both restaurants change daily, and sometimes it's themed towards whatever port you're in. The Platinum Restaurant also serves breakfast every morning, as well as brunch on sea days. The buffet is on Lido Deck 9. We didn't find much of the food there to our taste, but there's other great casual dining options like the Deli, Blue Iguana Burrito Bar, Pirate Pizzeria, Old Fashioned Barbecue and our personal favourite, Guy's Burger Joint. The Seafood Shack and Sushi Bar are also available for a small upcharge. There's also speciality dining available in the Emerald Steakhouse. There's a number of bars on board the Carnival Glory too. As previously mentioned, the Colours Lobby is on Deck 3. On Deck 4 you can find the Ivory Club Bar. I really like the team here. On Deck 5 you'll find the Skybox Sports Bar, where they show a lot of live sport, as you'd expect. There's the Kaleidoscope Bar, located just off the casino. The Alchemy Bar is quite chilled and a nice place to sit for a drink. The Cine Bar is the main piano bar and can be a little rowdy at times. Bar Blue is the main spot for karaoke and at the back of Deck 5 you'll find the Ebony Cabaret Bar, home of the Punchliner Comedy Club. In the pool area of Lido Deck 9 you'll find the Blue Iguana Tequila Bar and Red Frog Rum Bar. The Azura Lido Bar is at the back in the adult only pool area and on Deck 12 in another adult only area you'll find the Serenity Bar. If it's just coffee you're after, Cream's Cafe is on Deck 5. The White Heat Dance Club is also on 5, that gets going after 11 and goes on to the early hours. If you're into shopping you'll find the fun shops on deck 5 as well as the cherry on top sweet shop. The Amber Palace Theatre is on decks 3, 4 and 5 and there seems to be always something going on here whether it's bingo or trivia in the day or the shows at night. As I said at the start the focus is on fun and you really see the evidence of that in the Amber Palace. The casino is on deck 5, it can be a bit smoky times even if you're just walking past other than that we didn't spend any time in the casino itself. The main pool is on deck 9 and it seemed to be constantly busy. During sea days there's always something going on so if you just want to relax I recommend the Azure pool towards the back of deck 9. They show movies every night at the main pool though and it can be quite nice to chill out and watch a movie here under the stars. The Carnival Waterworks is on deck 10 and there's two whirlpools on deck 14 at the front of the ship which tend to be a little quieter than the others. I spent a lot of time in those ones. There's a jogging track and sports arena on deck 11 with mini golf on deck 12. The gym on Carnival Glory is on deck 11 just in front of the spa and they do really good deals on port days. So our overall conclusion, although Carnival Glory is not the most luxurious ship at sea, it is a lot of fun with a young age demographic up for a good time. We're really looking forward to sailing with Carnival again soon.